Accent Decor has a couple of different uh, cork products. There's actually almost like tiles, flat pieces, as well as cork bark pieces like this full, as well as planter. But these really intrigue me. They sell it as virgin cork, and it's really the first layer of the cork tree uh, that's been harvested. And of course, cork does renew itself, and so uh, it doesn't hurt the tree whatsoever. Uh, but they do come in lots of four to six at a time. They range at around 20 to $25 a piece. So you may get a piece like this, piece like this, but they're all very useful because they all have its each individual character, which makes it really nice and very inspirational for any designer. Um, quite often, if you can you find a good uh, glass container, there's a, always a good fit with any one of these pieces. I happen to pick Carnival Glass because I like the fact that it has a taper out and in so that it has a spot where you can place your cork and then it will rest at the, the certain point. So in this particular piece, which I particularly like, it has that beautiful little fold which makes it really very nice. It sort of stops like right about I guess it's really about there, maybe about there, let's see, you just got to feel it because it has that flex and then you can then take um, U-glue and just firm it up there so then you can design in this particular vase like this. I like the fact that most of the stems that will go in will be hidden behind this cork so that you're not going to uh, take away from the beautiful clarity of, of the vase here, which makes it really buoyant, makes it look as if something is he that's very heavy is suspended in air. I also like the fact that we are actually working with opposites, the real slick, clean, very city, up, up city-like uh, look of glass with a very natural texture of this beautiful cork. I think it's a very beautiful blend of nature and city. And so I think it's a, it's a very nice touch for city living. Now, let me try this other piece and see how this one fits. This one here is even more denser and heavier, a little bit more trunk-like, and it has this very interesting little spot, like a little spot that sort of caves in here, which is very, very nice. This one fits much tighter at the top so it gives me, uh, th that makes it very, very secure. It's not gonna, this is not gonna even need any kind of U-glue to keep it in place because it just won't go any further. That's just where it stops. And then this design, I think it calls for something that's very dramatic because this in itself is very dramatic. It's heavy sitting on this air. So we want to make it even more so and make it even more exotic and heavier, like something you've not seen before. So I'm gonna take this, uh, Monstera, or actually it's a Siloam, it's a philodendron, just the same. And I'm going to take this material called, uh, this is Caryotomitis, and this is actually a fishtail palm seed cluster, but it's often sold as Boderic hair. And I'm going to then put this uh, sort of wedged into the side of that. So you can see that it fits into that pocket, that little wedge, very, very nicely and then to top it off something even just as exotic and exciting in, in color. Uh, it's very tropical. We're gonna use a bromeliad blossom so that it sort of peeks up and pops out at you. So this is something that could be done in this particular design. Now to go over on this side, we have another example of use of cork. And this is just another piece that's being cut, actually split into three pieces. So I've taken two other pieces and use it as a side wall to a column of foam that is actually sitting on top of this glass rota, the black rota. And this is a little wedge, the third piece that came off of that same bark, and that's been extended down. And what I did was actually drill a couple holes into the bark uh, on either side, a uh, set pair of holes so that it's actually tied around a big stick that is into the foam, so it's attached and it's hugging the piece of foam. So that keeps the foam staying nice and moist because it's enclosed, and that is why this, I can get this kind of height in this design because foam goes right up to about this level. And so this is the extension that I get on top. So I get a very extraordinary big arrangement in this particular kind of setup.
and I can design into the opening on either side and because the rest of it's covered with cork so that you get that flow on that direction and flow in this direction which makes it very very exciting. So it's a very nice collection of tropicals and in, with that cork you get that real feel of nature and the wildness of the tropics.